This is Jeffrey Drazen for the New England Journal of Medicine. In Dar es Salaam, a three-year-old boy wakes in the night, calling out to his parents. His mother lays her palm on his forehead, which is burning. She applies a wet cloth to his head and sings to him until he is asleep again. I'm worried it's malaria, the father says. Two days later, the boy's fever has not resolved. The mother brings her son to the clinic. Is it malaria, she asks the doctor. Doctor shakes her head. It might be something else, she says. Let's have a look. In many parts of Africa, malaria transmission is declining. Now that there are point-of-care, rapid diagnostic tests for malaria, healthcare providers face a new and daunting challenge. If a malaria test comes back negative, what might be making this child sick? What is the appropriate course of action? In a study reported in the journal, the etiology of fever was investigated in children in Tanzania. Just over a thousand children under 10 years of age and with a fever of 38 degrees Celsius or higher were recruited at outpatient clinics. Blood samples and nasal and throat swabs were taken. Within an hour, malaria and a number of bacterial illnesses could be ruled out. With this information, initial treatment plans were formulated and, if indicated, treatment was started. These plans could be modified when additional results became available, usually within five days. The final diagnoses for the cause of fever, such as malaria, upper respiratory tract infection, pneumonia, systemic infection, or gastroenteritis were determined through algorithms using pre-specified criteria and were not available in real time. A possible etiology of fever was identified in almost all of the children. It was a virus more than 70% of the time. For the febrile child in the third world setting, once malaria and tuberculosis have been ruled out, if there are not strong clinical indicators of a bacterial process, these data provide reassuring epidemiological evidence that it's okay just to follow the illness and not to treat with empiric antibiotics.